Okay, I'm back. Uh, I made another blood juice uh, that after I drank my celery juice. And so now by the time I'm ready to drink this, it'll be about at least 20 minutes have passed to let the celery juice digest. Okay, now the star of the show of my beet juice, my blood juice today, is uh, a new star anyway, is sugar cane. Okay, I want to give a shout out to my buddy in Afghan or in Kuwait, uh, my coworker and, and friend and baby brother. Uh, his name is LaQuentin. So shout out to you, LaQuentin, for hipping me to you telling me that you use sugarcane in your juices. My fingers are red because this is the beet juice, but it'll wash away. Anyway, so I said, well, let me check out the benefits of beet juice. I mean, of celery. Uh, I'm sugarcane. Come on, Stephanie. Okay, so it's some good stuff. I, I I mean, I don't want the video to turn long, but I just I just got to mention some of this stuff because I know it's going to sing to some people out there. It alleviates or it levels the imbalance of blood sugar. Uh, it creates an anaerobic environment where disease can't live. See, increase the flow of oxygen in the body. It cleanses and detoxes the body of carbon dioxide, toxins and stress. And it relieves gastric ulcers, kills bacteria in the wounds and speed up healing. It reduces inflammation in the body and odors. Okay. It improves respiratory uh, function, improves bowel function and painful hemorrhoids, improve milk function and lactate in lactating mothers. Okay. So lactating mothers go get on some of that sugar cane. Okay. It soothes inflammation and pain which is excellent because again, like I said, I just recently had some dental work. So a lot of stuff I'm finding helps with inflammation, uh, the, the turmeric, the, um, the ginger, a lot of things. Okay. And it increases the blood count. Furthermore, what else did it say? It says prevent tooth decay, tooth decay. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yo, tooth decay. Yeah. That's what's up. It helps to treat jaundice. Uh, so that's that right there. That's a liver, liver issue. So if you have liver, liver issues, Sorry, I'm talking too doggone fast and dehydrated and everything. I need to get to drinking. But it cures flu and sore throat. That's the season for this. You don't need that doggone flu shot that the government is putting up in us. Unfortunately, I have to take the shot because it's mandatory for the job that I have. But the years that I don't have to take it and because I'm not going overseas, I don't take it. But anyway, it, uh, it this is prevents prostate cancer and breast cancer. We know a lot of people who have prostate cancer and breast cancer. I'm telling you, check this out, read more about it. Uh, it's rich in iron, magnesium, calcium, potassium. Uh, it's alkalizing. Uh, so when you have an alkalized body, you can't have disease. Disease cannot be formed in an alkalized body. So get some alkalizing foods and juices in you. It moisturizes the body. It makes the skin beautiful. Ooh, we love beautiful skin. And it prevents skin, kidney stones, um, reduce vomiting, swelling during pregnancy. So yeah, you pregnant mothers and lactating mothers, you really want to get your check out this here sugar cane juice. Uh, let's see. So okay, what I what I have in this tree? I have the beet and the roots. I mean, th this right here actually has more benefits than the beet. You know, this right here has more benefits, health, uh, nutritional benefits than the beet itself. When you buy the beets that don't have the tops on it, oftentimes they're older beets because the tops are giving away how old the beet is. You know, and they start getting wilted and old. So that's what that's a trick that the stores will use. They'll cut off the top and then, uh, you know, you won't know. But you can also tell when they're old, when they start getting soft and stuff like that. So you don't want it then. And then I have a half a lime, have a whole carrot. And aloe vera gel. This is a big old aloe vera leaf. I cut off a piece of it. And I have some ginger root. So I mix this one up a little bit. I want to tell you what I do with the uh with the with the skin of the aloe vera gel. Every day that I cut off some, you know, and put it in my juices, I take this after I wash my face and I put this on as a toner while my face is wet. Put it on as a toner, slather it around, and then I grab my moisturizer and put it on my face. And I mean, I'm telling you, you can't buy anything better than what you just did and for yourself in your kitchen, bought out of your regular old grocery store. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a drink real quick. Uh, this is good, of course. It's um, uh, mm, 
I'm actually kind of surprised the sugar cane didn't make it any sweeter. Mm, my lips are turning red from the beet juice and the carrot juice. I'm surprised it didn't make it sweeter, but for all I know, maybe it's out of season. I don't know. Maybe it'll taste better in a different season. Probably definitely tastes better in a tropical island like Hawaii. But anyway, just wanted to hit y'all up with that. Hopefully it's helpful. Talk to you later. Peace.